Best Brawler to win a solo showdown Fist of Famine, Byron Edition, let's go. For the obvious, know the drill. For the newcomers, hi, I'm Greed Echo Live, and I record daily Brawl Stars content as of now on the best brawlers and different solo showdown maps. So yeah, let's go into the first round right here. Okay, so we're into the safety net right here as Gus got eliminated. For Byron, normally my playstyle would be passive. Because I'm not really a Byron fan, so I'm not gonna use a lot of Byron's tactics as I haven't really studied thorough enough. So, but Byron is definitely one of the long range brawlers that you can count on if you are super accurate with your shots. Oh wow, I actually got top 2. Okay, so... Kid don't even need to put, the, put a claws on me. One jump and I'm dead. But anyway, it's good that I've got top 2. So let's go into the second round. And by the way, if you guys are into other brawlers as well, feel free to go to my channel and simply search the keywords Fist of Famine or just any other solo showdown maps. And you're gonna get a bunch of other brawlers in a way to help you out. So yeah, let's go into the Sakharov right here. Okay, so only one brawler got eliminated, two brawlers now as Gus eliminated another brawler and Sam eliminated another brawler so we need two more to get into the safe zone, another Gus got eliminated by Sam so let's see who's gonna be the next one, hopefully it's not me because again as I've mentioned on um, before I even start the round so I, I've already claimed that I would play passively Unless I have moments to give an attack, for example, the previous round I've given give an attack when Kit jumps on another brawler. So, okay, I'm just gonna stay here. You know what? We can actually go diagonally up Brits right here. Okay, so we're into top four as Willow got eliminated. At the start of the match, I almost thought that I, will end you. I almost thought Willow is gonna get to me. But matter of fact, it's Leon who is the one who eliminated her. So, yeah. So sometimes staying passive is definitely a tactic right here, as you guys can see. I'm just trying my best to hold on to dear life with no power cubes at all which is kind of funny to solve the pro's eyes because in their ranks I'm not even, I can't even exist. So yeah, I've got top 4 for this round and I'm okay with it. As I said, I've no activities going on but still I've got 5 trophies. So yeah, really really nice round so let's go into the final round and by the way if you guys are enjoying the content so far feel free to click the subscribe button as i'm trying to reach 300 subscribers by the end of october but based on our current progress of 257 subscribers at the time of recording i believe that we can reach it much much sooner but i need your guys support to do that so if you guys want to support a small creator like me feel free to click the subscribe button to help me reach 300 subscribers so yeah let's go 
So this, look at this position. This position is, this position is a no-brainer. As you guys can see, I, I have no way to run whatsoever. I'm trying to run after the power-up box to make sure that I don't receive any damage. But again, two brawlers came to the same direction at the same time and I can't really dodge unless I'm using Edgar then two of them will be dead but now I'm using Byron with 3600 um, HP only so this position is a no-brainer I would be dead for sure so yeah look at this situation if um, two brawlers from the sides came towards me and rushed me I'm gonna be dead with Byron so that position is not fair to solve the brawlers so that's what I'm gonna say for now anyway I'm just going to focus on getting some power-ups, finally. Okay, so Sam got eliminated by Dog. I'm not going to focus on that. Just going to focus on getting some power-ups and make sure that I'm still alive in this match to cover up some of the losses from the previous round, which doesn't even make sense considering I'm just a weak brawler that got put in a position where I can't even run in the first place. Even if I'm a skilled Byron, I can't, I can't imagine how he would deal in... How you deal with other brawlers in that situation, it's, it doesn't really quite click to me. But anyway, since we're in this round, we're not gonna we're just gonna fo forget about the previous round. So yeah, we're into top five right now, but I wholeheartedly believe that we can get further than that as this round we have got power up, so it's different. And I believe um sometimes when you get brawlers that that you seldom play with you normally get the lucky charm for example when i'm using tick which i'm super uncomfortable using it with um, in solo showdown maps i would get good ranks for god knows what reason Wow, I'm dead. So yeah, I'm definitely okay with this. As you guys can see, top two, and I've definitely recovered um, some of my ranks from the previous round. So 19 trophies in four rounds, I believe, is a decent result considering I seldom use Byron at all. So basically, this will be the video, guys. Comment down below what other brawlers you are using in Solo Showdown First of Famine, and also subscribe for similar content like this. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Peace out.